Hello friends, welcome back to Lane JavaScript series. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to run a JavaScript file from an external file location. So we will refer that JavaScript file inside our HTML. Then we will refer the variables and function exposed in that external JavaScript file inside the HTML. So let's say we have two files. One is the HTML file. So that will be one more file. So we will call this as a JavaScript file. So this can be in any location. It can be in your local file system. external web location or internet So you can refer this file inside your HTML. So once we refer this, then we can start using the variable and functions defined here inside this JavaScript file. So here, what we have to do, we have to use the script tag. then use src then double quote specify the location so the javascript file name will end with dot js extension all right now we will see an example here we will create one javascript file then we will refer that inside our uh, html file so you can see two files here one is uh, our uh, html file then one is a javascript file first uh, let us uh, look at the html file content So if you see here, we have uh, um, two input field, then one button, and we have uh, H3. And if you see here, we are making use of the add number function call, but add number is not uh, defined inside this uh, html so it is defined inside the script file which is uh, from external location so since it's uh, in the same folder here we just uh, specified that so if it is in a different folder then we can use a relative path or fully qualified path if it is a local file system or if it stays under a different web server in the uh, World Wide Web, www Web, then we have to specify this location using the HTTP format of a file uh, location or the HTTP address that specifies in which server the JavaScript is staying. Alright, now we will open. So you can see here that this JavaScript tutorial.html file is referring a function and this function is defined inside the 
javascript now let's go back to the file location and we will open the javascript and if you see here this add numbers this is what we are referring here since we specified this external location the content is available for this html file so here we are freely calling the add numbers similarly if you look at the uh, external file so here we have add numbers but if you see here we are referring the html elements so number one number two so this is from this uh, html file we are referring these fields by its id number one number two then we are just performing the addition operation and get some is also called here so we just to kept the uh, javascript inside this uh, 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 form event handler.js file javascript file and you can see that it is referring our uh, form fields so this h3 out is here so after adding this um, we, we will uh, populate this uh, tag so usually the external javascript file um, should be more generalized so it should not tie like this with the form field so when you write a javascript it should be um, uh, more generalized like um, instead of getting the value from the form field it should take two parameters two integer parameters then calculate the sum and return back so in that case this uh, javascript file can be referred by any html file that needs to add two number so mostly people will use the external javascript file when the content grows big that means that there are a lot of functionality that we need to write in a javascript then mixing that in the html file will uh, uh, will not have a much uh, readable code so we can separate the separate the javascript in a separate i mean we can separate the javascript in a different file then we can refer that inside our html all right now we will run this and you can see the it is invoking our javascript file and everything is working fine now let's debug this with the chrome and you can see how the values okay let first let me keep a breakpoint here so that you can see the html will make use of our javascript so um just reloading the content then i'm just clicking add and in the call stack you can see that um, this is where the um, the function call is originated and you can see that it automatically goes to our html file so that's highlighted here then when i click add numbers that goes to the external javascript file so now we can debug and you can see the result here so i'm pressing f12 to close this debugger so you can see that it is actually referring the external javascript file and printing the result so you can refer multiple javascript files also so just use the script tag and uh, refer your external files that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye